If you have ever thought about becoming a travel nurse or thought that that could be in your future, this is a video for you. I'm gonna share my top five things to consider when looking for a travel assignment, signing a contract, or considering where you want a travel nurse. So if you're interested, keep listening. The first one is your license. Personally, I have a Texas Compact license. That means I am able to go do my nursing job in 30 something of the states in the US because my license will allow me. For example, I'm a new nurse, I'm in Texas, I have my compact license, I wanna go work in California. You have to apply for it, you have to pay for it, and sometimes it takes a while for you to get that license. So when you're thinking about where you wanna go, think about will my license transfer or will I have to get a new one? A lot of the time, companies will reimburse you for your license, but it just sometimes is an extra hassle. Number two is state tax. When you're applying for a job, make sure you note if your state has state tax. I'm from Texas, there's no state tax, so I wasn't expecting so much to get taken out of my paycheck. When I went to New Mexico, and I'm in the state now that I'm in, I'm in Arizona right now. That's a news, news flash, everyone. I'm in Arizona now. It's not one of those things that a lot of people consider when taking a new travel assignment. Texas, California. There's gonna be a big difference. If you know, you know. <laughs> Number three, probably one of the most important is housing. Housing can be a big pain when you're signing a contract and trying to find where you live in a new city that you've never been. Are there gonna be places that are in your price range? Do they allow pets? You really have to think before you sign a contract, is it feasible for me to get a place that will suit my lifestyle? Am I gonna have to use public transportation? Can I drive my car? Will I have to bike? What, whatever the case may be, Housing can become a huge issue, so just make sure there's a lot of options. Furnish Finder is a good website. Zillow, uh, Airbnb, and VRBO are good as well. They can just get a little bit more on the pricey side. Number four is the charting system. There's many charting systems out there, so if you've had experience, I've had experience with Cerner only, and all of my travel assignments have had Cerner, so I've gotten blessed with that but make sure if you've only used epic and you're going to a new facility and it uses meditech just be sure you're aware you're going to have to have a little bit of a learning curve there with the charting system number five is how many days a week am i required to work most contracts are three or four days a week i've seen five day a week contracts so read your contract make sure you're comfortable with however many days um and happy applying you guys got it <laughs>